Hi, I'm Dr. Abby Smith-Ryan, and I'm a professor at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And I'm here to talk about the benefits of creatine, particularly for women, and why they can be game-changing. Of course, we know about performance, but really we're going to talk about things that are specifically related to women. Recovery, cognition, bone health, pregnancy. And so first, let's talk about one of the most common misconceptions with creatine. Many women don't want to take it because they think they'll gain weight. When in reality, weight gain is as small as half a pound, and most women don't gain weight at all. And in reality, when we think about what's happening with weight gain, creatine is causing water to come into the cell, um, which can potentially help uh, prevent dehydration. So one benefit, de uh, prevent dehydration. Another reason a lot of women might not think about taking creatine is because we associate it with muscle mass, maybe getting too bulky. Uh, when in reality, women won't get bulky, we don't have enough testosterone, but creatine can support improvements in muscle mass, um, which is incredible for women. Not only can we have greater kind of uh, tone and muscle um, improvements in body composition, but that also indirectly supports greater metabolic rate, um, so it can help us long term. Most people benefit, uh, know the benefits of creatine for performance. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it, creatine can help with high intensity exercise, but we're also seeing specific benefits for women across the menstrual cycle. So oftentimes in our luteal phase, uh, performance, we don't see as good of performance or sometimes performance just decreases a little bit. Creatine loading, uh, particularly right before we get to the luteal phase, can help with that performance. So we see better benefits of creatine um, when some of those performance benefits are, are suppressed in the luteal phase. We also see improvements in recovery, uh, particularly for women. So creatine may support not only performance, but also recovery. Who doesn't need that? One of the coolest things I think about creatine and why I use it for myself is actually the cognitive benefits. Um, so we have creatine in our brain, not only our muscles, and we know as women, as women age and across the menstrual cycle, our cognition changes. Um, I like to call it, you know, fatigue, whether it be Zoom or whatnot. Um, but creatine basically helps some of those neurons fire a little bit better in your brain. Helps you come up with that word you just can't think of. Helps us stay focused a little bit better. And not just beyond cognition, uh, there's benefits with mood. So again, increases in anxiety and depression across the menstrual cycle and throughout peri and post menopause. Creatine has been shown to support and improve mood and lower rates of depression um, across the menstrual cycle, but even in things like postpartum, so postpartum depression. So we've got benefits to prevent dehydration, improve muscle mass, increase performance, enhance cognition and mood. I mean, sign me up. Another unknown benefit or kind of unheard of benefit is the support with creatine and bone health. So as women, we're at greater in increased risk for osteoporosis, which is weak bones, particularly as we get older and reach into postmenopause. But some fascinating data shows that if you combine creatine with resistance training, there's a significant increase in bone density or even a prevention of bone loss, which is very common. Um, so ladies, creatine can also support bone health. And then lastly, one of the most insightful things I think and some great data coming out is the use of creatine during pregnancy and postpartum. So I mentioned the mood benefit, but there's also some interesting benefit to the fetus itself, the baby. Uh, so in the third trimester, uh, creatine can, supplementation can uh, prevent some of the hypoxia that happens with birth and the fetus in general. Uh, there's also some potential benefit on um, cognition. And when we think about pregnancy, there's a lot of growth and development happening there to our muscles, to our bones, to our body. Um, creatine can be potentially supportive there and into the postpartum, same thing during the recovery piece. Other really important thing I wanna put into context is a lot of people are thinking, oh, creatine supplementation, even in pregnancy when I wanna be super careful. But in reality, creatine is something we make in our body. Um, and I can either take five grams of creatine or I can eat an additional six chicken breasts. So especially as a busy working mom, I love my protein and get a lot to eat. I just can't get enough of that. Um, and then when we take in pregnancy and lack of space, so creatine supplementation can be uh, purely uh, you know, advantageous in that sense of not being able to eat enough and particularly even more beneficial for women. Lots of benefits, very low risk and side effects. So ladies, uh, consider that. I know it's one of the top things that I do every day for my health.